This graph shows changes in infant mortality rates in Japan. We can observe that an upward trend of infant mortality reversed in the 1920s. It is especially noted that infant mortality rates have continuously and steadily declined even though Japan was under the harsh situation, such as World War II, and even before that, when the national economy, as well as medical technology, were less advanced. Now Japanese enjoy the status of having one of the highest life expectancies in the world. How did Japan achieve such nutritional improvements? Let us examine it from the viewpoint of three factors, life improvement, school lunches, and maternal and children's health. Life improvement. Agricultural extension services after the war helped improve the food supply system. However, food production alone could not resolve complex issues such as gaps in living conditions between urban and rural areas and malnutrition. The government launched life improvement campaigns to shine a light on these issues and improve the quality of rural life. Following the passage of the Agricultural Improvement Protection Act in 1948, female life improvement extension officers provided a variety of support and guidance targeting rural women. Much like today, mothers at that time were responsible for managing the health and day-to-day -day life of the entire household. However, women in rural areas at that time faced numerous challenges, including overwork, poor household environments, and having no participation in the decision-making process of households. Such hardships negatively affected family life and health, and it worsened the situation. Life improvement activities included improving household environments by installing improved cookstoves, providing dietary counseling, reducing domestic labor through collective cooking, and providing nutritious foods through kitchen gardens and cooking guidance. Irrational practices such as culinary taboos for pregnant women, excess expenditures for ceremonial events were also reviewed, thus comprehensively improving the quality of daily life. Among the various initiatives taken, one approach proved to be crucial. Rather than simply providing information to women's groups, life improvement extension officers engaged in dialogue with the beneficiaries to illuminate issues particular to the area and facilitated rural women to devise solutions by themselves. The officers then provided technical support to assist the women. School Lunches Supply shortages during the Second World War suspended school lunch services, which had been promoted since the 1920s. Thanks to assistance from foreign countries, these programs resumed after the war, greatly improving child nutrition. Passed in 1954, the School Lunch Act stipulated that lunches were a part of a school's educational activities. School lunches had a significant impact for children in the post-war period, promoting health of students, improving nutritional conditions and good physique, and teaching proper eating habits. In addition, children brought their knowledge about diet and nutrition back home, helping improve nutrition across their community. This table shows the balance of carbohydrates, protein, and fat for the Japanese diet across three periods. An equilateral triangle shape indicates an optimal balance in diet. In the tables for 1946 and 1960, we see an overabundance of carbohydrates and a lack of fat intake. By 1980, we can see that the Japanese diet provides nutrition in an appropriate balance. This is largely due to the government providing nutritional guidance, offering school lunches, and working to diversify agriculture in order to break away from the country's dependence on rice consumption. However, today we see the Japanese diet losing its nutritional balance again, 
The westernization of diet has led to excessive fat intake. The government is taking steps to provide dietary education that will encourage Japanese people to return to a balanced Japanese-style diet. Maternal and Child Health During World War II, Japanese women suffered from undernutrition and poor health status, while access to medical services were quite limited. In 1942, the government introduced a booklet for pregnant women to register pregnant women and improve prenatal care. This booklet was widely promoted with the privilege of free prenatal checkups, vaccinations, and food rations. Later in 1947, this system was improved as a Maternal and Child Health Care MCH handbook that expanded coverage to include child care. The handbook included detailed information, including growth curves, to monitor child health and development, appropriate recipes, and frequency of complementary food, and more, all of which served as helpful tools in protecting the health and nutrition of the mother and child. During the post-war period, Japan overcame severe undernutrition and promoted a balanced diet. Even when the economy was not developed, the Japanese government had policies to ensure the health of mothers and children in rural, vulnerable families. Life improvement also played an important role in this aspect, with support from the entire community. Even in classrooms of schools, we find a history of initiatives encouraging health and nutrition among children. Combined with the support policy from the government continuing to this day, these initiatives are still playing a key role in improving the nutrition, health, and long life expectancy of the Japanese people. <laughs>